Hello everybody and welcome. In this video we'll be looking at binary search algorithm. Now the binary search algorithm is a faster search algorithm than the linear search algorithm. But unlike linear search, the items in the list must be sorted. Now the binary search uses a divide and conquer technique. And as you would see in the algorithm, we are discarding one will we'll be discarding one half of the list after each iteration well logically discarding one half of the list after each iteration so to begin the algorithm what i'll start of it I'll, I'll start off by creating a procedure so i'll call my procedure b search and the b there just means binary b search and my procedure will take in two arguments. We'll take in S list, which is the list containing the value that I'm looking for, and value. Well, not containing it, which may contain the value that I'm looking for. Now, there are three key pointers we need when we're working with a binary search. One of them is the lower bound, the other one is the upper bound and then the third one is the midpoint now the lower bound the lower bound would always be the first item in the list so the lower bound will be the index position of that first item in the list and we know the index position of the first item in the list is zero so we'll pull down zero there the upper bound is the index position of the last item in our list. Now the last item in our list, the index position of the last item in our list, we'll find by finding the length of our list and then taking one away from it. Now we're taking one away from it. Some students get confused while we're taking one away from it. Don't forget that, let's say for example, we have seven items in our list. The index position of the seventh item in the list will be six. Hence, the minus one there. So if you just said length of S list, that gives us seven. If we take one away from seven, that gives us six. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a variable and I'll call my variable found. Now, this variable will just will change if the value I'm looking for is contained is inside my list the list I'm searching for now I would use iteration here and in my iteration I want to carry on repeating my loop so while found as long as the item I'm looking for is false and my upper bound pointer is greater than or equal to my lower bound pointer. Now, if these conditions are true, we'll create a new pointer called mid. Now, the pointer mid would hold the index position of the value in our midpoint. To do this, we would add our upper bound, the value in our upper bound, to the value in our lower bound. So the index position of, so technically, we'll be saying 0 plus the length of S list minus 1. We add both of them together. And then we div this by 2. Okay, we div by 2. So you can either write it like that or you could say div. Now, we are divving by 2 simply because we want to return a whole number after our division. We don't want numbers with fractional parts because otherwise it won't work in our algorithm. Now, now we've found the index position of our midpoint. The next thing we're going to do is to check. If the value in our midpoint, so if S list value, which is the value in our midpoint, we're going to check, is that value equal to the value we're looking for? 
if it is, we want to say that found is true. Otherwise, so if it's not, we want to compare. It's the value in S list in our midpoint, in the midpoint of S list, greater than the value that we're looking for. If it is, what needs to change now is we want our upper bound. We want our upper bound to be our midpoint minus one. At this point, we're technically discarding all the values from the midpoint to the end of the list. Otherwise, and here we're now saying that if the value in the midpoint in our list is lower than the value we're looking for, then it's our lower bound we're going to change now. We're going to say our lower bound will become midpoint plus one. At this point, we can end if and then go back to the iteration and this will carry on while found is false and upper bound is greater than our lower bound. If say for example the the question in the exam you're asked to write says I'll end while first. So if you're asked to then print um, if the item has been found or not, we can then say that if we can say that if found if found equals true then will display that item item found otherwise otherwise will display will display item not found and we can end if here and at this point I can end my procedure Okay, so this whole algorithm here is a binary search algorithm. Thank you.